Hi hello, welcome to my channel. Today in Prague it's going to be over 30 degrees so what I've decided to do is I'm going to go to the centre I'm going to rent out a bicycle and take a cycle around some of the sites and show you Prague. Prague is a, uh, it's a small city but there's so much to see and uh, it's a lot better to do on a bicycle. So without further ado, let's go. Here we have Venceless Square. Uh, it's a great area for shopping. It's really beautiful here. And here we have our museum, which is also the name of the metro station. Uh, here we have Saint Venceless, who was known as the Good King. And apparently he was killed by his brother, Boleslaus the Cruel. We're going this way. I'm now standing at the bottom of uh, St. Venceless Square. As you can see, they have a beautiful tram cafe here. And here is Mustek Metro Station. Okay, I'm now at the very, very bottom of Venceless Square. There you can see we have the New Yorker shopping center. And we're going to go this way. Okay. I just walked down there through this through this little alley and here we have our visitor center. Where you can get all your information about Prague. Uh, I can't really see that little car. For me, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, just walking on down the street. Uh, there's a little side street down here, and that's the way I'm going now. Some kind of weird statue. Very impressive looking buildings. Straight down this way. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to keep going this way. Just in the center here now. And I'm going to go this way. Irish pub. Okay, so still continuing up the street here. Uh, a few little restaurants, ice cream stands, you know, because now it's summertime. And I'm going this way. Nearly there. So the main centre is only a two minute walk this direction here. Uh, one of the best ways to see this city is by bicycle. Uh, because it is a small city, like, but uh, it depends on the size of your legs. Okay, and this is the bike that I just got there from Prague Bikes. As you can see, it has everything on it. It has my little water holder, it has gears, bell, and I even got myself a combination lock. So let's go have a ride. Okay, so now that I'm equipped with my little bicycle, I've come back to the square. Little choo-choo tourist train. But I've got my little bicycle. Uh, this is the direction to the river, uh, but this is a one-way street. So, I'm going to go this way, past the church, and I'm going to turn right, in the direction of the river. Okay, just two minutes down the street, uh, beside this metro station. There's my little bike. I can now get my first view 
of Prague Castle. Amazing. Boat tours available here. And this is Charles. You can see Prague Castle. And here is Charles Bridge. We're going to go this way. Now the first stone of this bridge was actually laid on the 9th of July 1357 at 5.31am. Uh, these numbers are actually a palindrome and Charles IV thought that uh, by using a palindrome it would actually make the bridge stronger. Interesting fact. You see the whole way up this bridge here there's it's lined with all these statues. Very impressive looking, very beautiful. Totally beautiful. So another way to see Prague is by boat. Lots of boats around during the summer. Just at the other side of Charles Bridge there, you turn left, uh, there's a little park, and you find these little babies. Uh, they were made by the sculptor David Cherney. Uh, these babies all have a barcode on their face, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I think he's trying to send us a message. Uh, you can also find these babies climbing up and down the Sishkov Tower. Here we have an amazing view of Prague Castle. And if you look up here, this is our mini Eiffel Tower. It's called Petrin Tower. Yeah, this is just outside of the centre now, down the river having a little cycle down. Uh, there's lots of boats uh, selling drinks, food. Uh, some of them actually have little terraces, tables, chairs. Where you can sit and chill. I think I'm going to look for a boat where I can park my bike. And I can sit and have a drink. Just a little further on down the river. I've come towards this place here. This seems to be a little volleyball place. Uh, playing volleyball on a boat, pretty cool. It's called the Kayak Beach Bar. Looks quite cool. Uh, but one of the things is this. They actually have canoes. Uh, which, yeah, I'm sure you can rent here then. Uh, which would be really nice today, like considering Prague is actually 36 degrees. Yeah, it's a scorcher today. It's another one of these sculptures by David Cherney. Uh, each piece of this head actually turns around. You can see it's all split into different segments. Each segment has a different motor. Uh, yeah, he didn't give very much description about this sculpture. Uh, but still very special, very nice. Definitely worth seeing. Okay, so after that long cycle, I think I deserve a beer, like, you know, it is pretty hot here, it's 36 degrees. Uh, so, I'm going to go this way. That way. I'm going to go that way. Yeah, I'm going to go this way through the alley. Okay, so I've just left my bike off here and I'm still in the city centre in Old Town. 
Uh, and contrary to what everybody says, not all beer in the centre is overpriced. Uh, this is the local where I come. Der Süd Café. Uh, close to the Chocolate Museum, which is, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, this is the local where I would usually come when I'm in the centre. Uh, pretty small little, little place, pretty nice, pretty friendly looking. Uh, one beer cost me 42 crowns, which is around 1 euro 60. But yeah, after that uh, cycling and in the 36 degree heat, uh, a nice cold beer. I hope you enjoyed my video of my cycle around Prague. Uh, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe. I will put a link in the description if you would like to buy me a coffee and support my channel. I will also put a link in the description for a book that I have recently published. My World on a Shoestring Budget. It's about all the travels that I have done in the last 20 years. Uh, check it out. And take care.